<laughs> Welcome to the Lost at Home podcast. Here are your hosts, Scott Bear and Jeremiah Johnson. Welcome to the Lost at Home podcast. My name is Spooky Scott. And I'm Jeremiah the Jinxed, or Jagged Jeremiah. We were looking for scary words that start with the letter J. Scott, I went through an entire page, no, seven pages on like thesaurus.com. Nothing. I thought the same thing. I'm doing. You go, you go to Santa Claus. I, 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 sa- I sound I think like our friend Santa Claus. I think Claus. it's Santa was here last week and like got under our here, skin. Here, what's, what's the spookiest voice I can do? Um, yes, this uh, is mine. Actually, oh, I, you got Crip I Keeper. I do the Crip Keeper. You, yeah, could, you so. should do Crip Keeper. For... <laughs> okay, and stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Crip Keeper. <laughs> Are we ready for some spooky shows? I want to apologize for everybody who heard that fucking probably monstrous clipping. Because <laughs> that was that was shrill. But the Crypt Keeper is shrill. I've been dead for years. All I know yeah. to do now is spooky puns. Oh. Whose bone needs boning? Whose funny bone needs boning? <laughs> I just read you just doubling down on that one. I've been <laughs> in a crypt for so long. So, <laughs> so Scott, I have not been up on pop culture references. Who's this Taylor Swift? Maybe she's Taylor dead. No, it doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> wow, you you have uh, you're, you're a little, have little been, rusty, little rusty. Buddy. I've been dead for so many years. Getting a little rusty on your puns there. Uh, uh, maybe I'm how, not Drake. How long? Maybe I'm Rake. Rake is scary now. Uh, when you step on enough of them, <laughs> they get they get tiresome, and you get bloody noses, and you know what's bloody in this world. Bloody noses, boy! You okay? How about how about you work on your tight ten, uh, and maybe next week Crypt Keeper comes back hey, after he's been. Who loves the Cosby Show? Okay. Oh. I do. Oh, I got because he's in kids. Nope, that's not a joke. No, that... ah. I like I like the fact you've been you've been uh, in the tomb for so long, but you're up on the Cosby shit. Or did you just know he was a that pervert? Was two years ago. Oh, I'm allowed above the surface at least once every once in a while. Why? Meaning in... two years ago. It sounds like you're it sounds like you're going through puberty as we talk. Because <laughs> your your voice just got significantly lower. <laughs> Also, how is the Double Down going? Is that still a nationwide bestseller? Actually, is it, Scott? I... I... <laughs> I I'd like to say no, since it's actually not in any... Uh, I don't think it's KFC a thing. Chain well, especially like... Uh, okay, actually, a Crip Keeper, what it is, it's like Popeyes and Chick-fil-A have been battling it out over their chicken sandwiches, and I think that would just crush... Even if Double Down was a thing, it would be crushed. Well, what, did, uh, what did Popeyes do? Did they do the single down? No they, down. No, they were just like ten, ten, here's a ten, shitty ten, ten yards on the down. Shit, we we put a football sandwich. between two pieces of fried chicken. Enjoy that, fuckers. Yeah, well, I think what it was. Oh, oh the, the, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the Y'all. double down was the one with the uh, chicken on the outside. Yeah, it was the chicken. chicken bu- is the chicken, bun. Chicken bun. It's the chicken, bun. but it's the bun. Yeah, no. exactly. Do you like diabetes and morbid obesity and clogged arteries like Bernie Sanders just had? Well, guess what? You heard that Bernie Sanders is canceling a future campaign th- visit for a little while. Has he got a stent in his, he got one of his a stent. arteries? Yep. And you know what? That usually works for most people. It, but um, I, I wouldn't be surprised it if this didn't was... work for me. Oh, because you're dead. I had a stent once. Is that how you died? Your heart attack? Oh, I had a heart attack. After eating, that's it. That's it after eating. Yeah, just I guess. Yeah, he just trailed off. I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. well, he seems like lacking on the puns. He was like, la- you know, but I, I, he, it's he's a little rusty. It's been a while since the crypt keeper has been out there. He's been taken over by the creep show guy, the creep creep show uh, host. That's his oh, the shutter. creep show host is very much the creep uh, keeper. Uh, uh, as as uh, we also, as we record uh, this, we're one episode deep. Although a new one is dropping tonight as we record this, so they're going to be on the second episode. There's a second episode of Creep Show on Shutter. Everybody, Shutter is not a sponsor. They don't do uh, podcast sponsorships to speak of because uh, we've looked into it, which is too bad. But regardless, I don't care if they do or not. Yeah, I love that are fucking network for this week. I love that network so much. I will. Freely say, them get, get it if you love horror movies. Yep, Shutter for horror movies and 2016 if you like double downs. Yep. Uh, 
Don't sponsor KFC until they do double downs. Again. Yeah, exactly. Or double sponsor down. them to pressure. Them. Get Rick and Morty to do an episode about it, and double downs will come back tomorrow. <gasps> You're not wrong. I need that double down, Morty. Morty, I need that double down. You're not wrong. This is him. This no, is well. Rick. That, that's that's uh that's a uh, that's a good impression of uh, the the doc from uh Back to the Future. Morty, Morty, suck my fucking dick, Morty. The original, yeah. oh, uh, yeah. the old, oh, yeah. the old original yeah. like Rick and Marty or whatever it was. Or, or uh, oh no, it was just Doc and Marty actually. Doc was, and Marty. They, they changed it to Rick and Morty, obviously, uh, for the TV show because it's like, oh, we might get in trouble actually being like a national like fucking show like this. Uh, we're, we haven't even gone into um, anything about what our show is or or what we're doing this month a little differently. Well, our show is a podcast where we take stories that you usually don't hear in the uh, mainstream fake news media. Fake news media, the uh, FNM. Yeah, right? we take yeah. stories that we, uh, and in fact, we ditch stories once they hit mainstream. Except for one well, this we, week. We, we, we got one, one this week. We're calling it mainstream because uh, it, it's not so much of uh, the fact that it's hit like Colbert or anything like that. Like we consider that mainstream, but we are. We thought about not covering one of our stories because last podcast did a very like long segment on it on their side so stories. We'll do a small but, segment but we, on it. So I, what we do, I, th I think we're still going to give a decent amount of background, but it's just too good for Halloween month, which is what we're doing this month, uh, all all of October every oh, week. Oh, oh. Every uh, every week, and I would say even our November first episode is going to be our actual. I might we might actually. Here's what we're going to do, ow, Scott. Ow, ow, ow. Scott, I want to I want to know this this month. This will not uh, make bat a difference. Sound, bat sound, bat sound, bat sound. <laughs> is that a cue for me to insert? I bat can't. Sound? Be, what, what what do bats do? They, they yeah they you just drool. <laughs> yeah, so much. I may have just sorted out my computer. <laughs> How how do you lose this laptop? I don't know. I use something happened with a lot of spit in it. You're the mad genius. You told me. Yeah, how. yeah. I don't know. Could be cum. Could be spit. You figure it out. Taste it, mad genius. I got I got a hard on when mad geniuses taste my cum. It's the only way I can get hard anymore. Yeah. So Halloween month, we like to do all the. What I'm going to tell you now is because Halloween falls on a Thursday, we usually What's post you gonna a show. Tell me now. We usually post a show on a Friday. We're, We're actually going to post, gonna post a, show a show on Thursday, We're October post a show 31st. On Thursday, October 31st. Not this one. This one's coming out. On a Friday, normally. Oh, yeah. No. If you're hearing this and you hear us saying this is posted on October 31st, do not pick up your phone while driving and look at your calendar to make sure the date is wrong. Yeah, because we don't want to be held responsible. Oh, I, I will want to say, um, also speaking of that. Uh, those... Actually, we could be the first uh, podcast ever to be responsible for a vehicular manslaughter. Is that true? I do not know. I mean, if someone's listening to our show, murder someone on a crosswalk. And but it gets out of their car and stabs them and then gets back in their car. <laughs> Not even like vehicular manslaughter. Just they stop at a crosswalk, kill somebody, and go, Blasted home made me do it. Uh, I well, make what if you put a knife on your grill and you just slowly drive forward and backwards that like death into race? pedestrian? Was that in a death race they had something well, like that? kind of. But say there's a pedestrian. They're like three feet in the sidewalk. They're that asshole is like, I'm going to be first to walk. And you just oh those it. assholes! I love the fact that you think like it would be great if the world didn't consist of any of those, so nobody would ever cross a crosswalk because yeah. nobody wants to be the first no, guy. No, 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 the person who walks halfway into the street, oh. waiting. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. And you have a knife, like a switchblade, like it's on getting them grill, where they need to go faster. And you just drive like at three miles an hour into them. It's like a and slow back stabbing up, back up, and you <laughs> go in, and you <laughs> back up. <laughs> and guess what? Everybody on the crosswalks, I mean, uh, like actually waiting properly, is like, you know what? They fucking deserve it. Yeah, and they I feel like been if they don't out. move after the first stabbing, all future stabbings legal. I, but I, I would say that yes, the first one, first if, one's if, on you. If you and if they and, and if they escape vehicular, back to the uh, yes. vehicular death race three thousand manslaughter. Yeah, and Tesla will get sued because I'm this is on a Tesla. Oh, I'm gonna. You know how you can tell you like your phone to like learn words like. I don't usually say hum. I say hum, mm -hmm. and t and and Siri will learn that eventually. Yeah, it'll be like, oh, you want me to say hum yeah. when I send my text? You tell your Tesla hmm. to stab people through algorithmic learning. So well, you do it a little bit, and those things like uh, it can, it can identify a person but, in the street. That's part of it. But in, in the future, the way autonomous vehicles is going to work, like they all share, like each. Uh, the computer brain essentially goes up into the cloud and everything learns from either, uh, other cars. So, like, your car doesn't have to get into an accident to know how to prevent an accident, but uh, any car that does, yeah, it learns. My, so my one, car that yeah. knows to stab, if, hey, yeah. I'm creeping in the street. That's going to teach all the other cars. It's yeah. Gonna, all the other yeah. cars. Then that's how the end of the human race will... Everybody's like, oh, no, robots. Yeah, robots, but, like, fucking cars. Welcome to Lost Zone Podcast. Yes. What we do with these stories, these obscure stories, these weird stories, is we twist them into new content. What you're going to get a lot of in this show is a bit of, 
uh, obscure news stories like Florida Man type stuff that you've never heard before, yeah. hopefully. And what we end up doing to make it a little bit more colorful for all you, our, our beautiful listeners. Yes, absolutely. Is so we you're all twist beautiful. those stories into new content. We try to make new TV shows, movies, etc. out of that said content. And we hope that uh, if you have a uh, get-go attitude, you turn those new content bits that we make into new content as in movies and yes. TV shows. Yep. And all we ask for is, unless we say... Do not fucking make this because once in a while we hit on gold. Yeah. We, we, uh, we, we, we would consider asked, this like an idea of goodwill, we called it. Yeah, we, where you could yeah. essentially take these ideas, run with them, make something out of it, and give us a little credit. Yeah, all we want is credit. So say you make a movie out of our uh, first story today or second story today. Mm-hmm. All we really want on the back end is a a, back. Uh, is our names in your credits. That's we'll it. We'll back. That's maybe, it. maybe invite us you know, to the set. No, it's an easy premise. I, uh, we basically try to create new intellectual properties through a weird 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 fucking story and, I, and, I did and we hope to make you laugh a little bit yeah and, and actually during the uh I, I did allude to this slash flat out said it before that the uh, month of uh, october we we do an entire halloween month so we try to concentrate on the spooky ow, story ow. and that's what interrupted me last time um no it was bad sounds bad sounds bad sounds ow, 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 ow. um but i did want to give a little disclaimer because we have a lot of listeners on the various radio networks that we have um and those generally shut off after an hour we usually try to keep to an hour but during the month of october we get really excited about halloween and horror so we are most likely going to be running long. We're not going to be cutting uh, stories to speak of. We might go long, so uh, if that ends up happening, you hear us get cut off. That's why. But you can, of course, always just subscribe to us on iTunes and Stitcher and anywhere podcasts are found with the exception of what? iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio. Um, Fuck iHeartRadio. With Heart the exception Radio. of that. But I mean, what? Uh, Spotify, even YouTube, we've got our uh, shit up on. Everywhere. Uh, so, everywhere. So you can you can get us elsewhere with the uh, full length thing. But, everywhere. But, you know, also, so that should, generally we're good keeping under the hour. But this month, you know what? We're going to go a little wild because we love horror and we love horror so much that we're actually gonna uh, ins- scrap our normal intro. Ow, ow, ow. If are you were gonna say that, you're gonna do that. Bad sound, bad sound, bad sound, bad sound. Bad we sound, love bad horror sound, bad sound. so much. I was, waiting, I was gonna see if you were gonna do it again. <laughs> if I could <laughs> turn you into like a loop. <laughs> uh, we love horror so much that we're actually gonna scrap our normal intro, which we were doing. Fuck those calories for a while. We were doing primies, phonies. We're gonna uh, for the month of October. We're gonna do something different, and we're going to do some horror movie suggestions and some horror movie pitches. We're gonna Not start really with that suggestions. different. This is what we've done the last few years. It, for uh, yeah, for Halloween month, yes. Just but as far as, but as far as the, the the if you're the past month, you're like, how do I fuck those calories off? Putting that on pause for the month of October, we'll bring that back in November All or right. some other little thing. So, so for horror movie picks for the horror, month of October or shows, or shows say, yeah. uh, mine is a show, and uh, horror shows for me are problematic. Um, they're you uh, uh, not they're often not horror. Well, a movie can tell you a concise story in an hour 30, maybe tw- 120 minutes. And honestly, some of the best horror I've seen have been short form, 10 minutes, yeah. like 15 minutes, you know? But what I ended up watching was Mariana, which is a French horror series on Netflix. Yes. Um, I have not finished it. I'm about an episode and a half away from the end. But I gotta say... I'm two episodes in, and Watching it, it, it is the scariest horror series I've ever seen. And you know what? I, it, the, somehow... It I, is I, I, scary. I don't have to tell people out there who've been listening for a while how because I've, I've, I go off all the time about how much like French horror, they just fucking get it. I don't like extreme uh, stuff for the most part, but French extreme horror especially. This is not extreme. This is paranormal. Uh, it's got some pretty... The, just the first couple episodes has some legit creepy shit going on in there. Some great acting, great cast. And honestly, Netflix of all uh, places too, I'm extremely skeptical because a lot of times their horror falls flat. Um, we were saying like, yeah, Stranger Things is great, but we consider that more like Amblin, Steven Spielberg style horror it's stuff. More more Steve, than, it's more this like... Is e- like it's, this is it's good like horror. E-T. This is fucking horror. This is like the, the, ta- the, the taking of Deborah Logan. Which also just dropped on Shudder. Which so. is... One of the scariest fucking movies it's, it's, I've it's ever found seen. Found footage. It's a. It's it's a. It's, uh, the, it's, it's the best it's a mental footage health. movie ever yeah. made. It's it's one of my. It's one of the creepiest. It's better it's than so good. Blair Witch. Like that's found it is, footage. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, Blair Witch is is just considered hype. so great it's because all hype. yeah, but, but because it like was it, it, it was, was like the original. Uh, I mean, granted, there was no, found no, footage it was before the, that, but like it, it was, was the fifth. I mean, Cannibal yeah. Holocaust. Is and they, but they people argue about whether or not that because footage. there because there's like non found footage elements so like can you consider that? But then there was there were plenty of others before that. Uh, there was the uh, but but that being said, that was the one that like started like the reason we had so many, including uh, taking Dev Logan, was guaranteed because of Blair Witch. I'll so throw that's that great. In, I'll throw that's that the OG, is an extra OG. one for me too. Uh, taking of Deborah Logan, watch that on, uh, on Shutter. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, also, it just dropped Ma- on Shutter. It's it's uh, and occasionally pops up on other spots as well. Uh, Mariana, uh, scary as hell. Uh, it's 
it's one of the genres that I don't like where it's slow burn, but it's slow burn at just the right pace for me. Well, and I like the and I, I like the I mean, setup. I it like builds. the setup because it, it like ha- it has to do. It's almost like in the mouth of madness style or one of those things where like a writer you know finds out that yep. certain elements of, of her it, writings it, are coming true or have be have been true regardless of. I haven't seen the whole I, thing. I, I so. actually never thought of that, but I dig your uh, reference to in the mouth of madness because. It definitely First has. First of all, John Carpenter, anything John Carpenter is. Well, it has, a, it has a meta degree. Yes. Like, she's basically like a Twilight style author. Yeah. But and, she's and been she doing it the fact to that keep she's, the ghost away. Yeah. She hates it. And, and she hates the fact that she had to write that because, like, she's also, like, what, like 10 years older when she started the books, you know, or something like that. Yeah. But she's like, I'm, I'm actually an adult. I want to write some real shit now. But people want her to, like, give up the a proper finish to this thing i would say recommend i, I want to also nine, note nine, nine out of ten for me uh eight out of ten for lack of boobies <laughs> and those friends should be throwing boobies all over the place well i thought in a french movie like there'd be, at least be boobies but no no <laughs> you're fucking nine years old boobies <laughs> not tits this is how I review movies. If you don't like how I review Nine movies... Nine out of ten if I take I the booby ta- thing I out of it. I will take the penthouse I found in the woods and I will go home. <laughs> Still on the old print, man. I like your old school attitude. That's, a, that's hipster porno, man. Uh, is, uh, but I, I would like to note for anybody looking for it, granted you'll probably be able to find it. You are pronouncing it correctly as Mariana because that's a French is But it is, it, it is spelled as we would spell Marianne. In, or yeah, but that's as, yes. how they say it. And yes, I, but no, because that is how it's pronounced I in, actually in, in thought France. Because it has an E at the end, so it's Mariana. Yeah. Well, I thought based on the title that it was going to be an Italian horror series. And I was shocked when uh, Netflix, number one, uh, put me on dubbed. Uh, do not do dubbed. Uh, I, I, I would, I would say that about almost anything except for like pre nineteen eighty, well, like or anything Italian. Well, I feel like a lot of our listeners probably are Netflix subscribers, but don't understand that uh, almost every Netflix thing you can watch, there is a drop down. Yes, uh, under of uh, the audio all options, the languages yep. you can hear it in and read it. And, and clearly, it, it must it must also uh, use some kind of uh, machine learning to remember your preferences because like I never get the dub version. I watched uh, Mariana and it defaulted to subtitles. I got dubbed yeah. and it was horrible. But I watch a ton of I watch a ton of subtitle things and like I th- I always choose subtitle and over yeah. time it just was like we're just going to assume you want to yeah. watch subtitles. No, I'll, no, watch, I'll was... watch animation dubbed fine like especially like the old uh, Miyazaki stuff I just watched I just got spirited away Miyazaki on Blu-ray. Miyazaki can be done yeah. with dubbing because well, it's they get, such like, a high profile uh, IP well, that it, well, they, I, get, also, they, they get really good voice actors. And I will say also like animation right. like it's easier to sync up because it's not like everything is perfectly synced anyway so it's going to just be like Mouth yeah, when that girl is screaming with a tentacle in her, it, like it, it, she she can say no as much as you want. Doesn't matter, fucking uh, Diedrich Bader. You know doing that. You know that all anime is in hentai, right? <laughs> hentai. You know when Diedrich Bader's uh, dubbing in that hentai dialogue. <laughs> Well the, thing, well, the other thing about uh, dubbed uh, animation is it's all technically dubbed because it's all voiceover to begin with, so it's got to match a lot better. Whereas, like, when you actually have a human being's mouth, you can tell, like, a voice doesn't belong to that human being. Yeah, Even my, if it's perfectly dubbed, my like, favorite that's, anime, not, that's not her. Honest, it's a gravelly man's voice, and that's oh, a yeah, no, year old no, no, woman. No. I, I got very confused sexually when I was, like, 14 when uh, Forrest Whitaker was uh, putting in the voice for La Blue Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's, wait, <laughs> that's my Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> You, I you, realize you, I don't know no, how no. Boris Whitaker sounds. I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, no, put that tentacle there. No, no, you just need a lisp. Yeah, don't put that tentacle there. Oh, that Mike, Mike yeah. Tyson, that's the blue girl. That's Mike Tyson. Yeah, oh, no, those t- too many tentacles. Oh, my God, the tentacles are all over all right, the place. All right, all right, we're here. We're at this place. We're at this point in the show. Are you ready, Jeremiah? Yes. Mike Tyson lisping his safe words. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> A fact you are. <laughs> number one. <laughs> We're moving up to number five. Number two. A, s- a sour grape. <laughs> number three. Why do I choose all my safe words with S? I don't know. That's my safe word. Safe number word. four. Safe word. Number five. Silly, silly, willy, billy. Silly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, we're good. That, I think five that, is good. That was five of Mike Tyson's safe words for Mike sex. Mike Tyson's safe words for sex. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, we are not even. We're almost. We're definitely running long because we're not even. We're, we're almost halfway through. In. And I even got to my uh, my pick, which I am going to another shutter. <coughs> and this is. One I haven't those... even done my opening segment, which is a new segment for the show. Yes. Uh, for the for the month of October, I haven't got, even got to my horror movie suggestion yet, and I will. I'm going back to shutter. You know what? We can always uh, we can always break this into two shows. Maybe tonight, tomorrow night. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. That. So yeah. maybe we make this work that way. We we might have to do that. Um. We'll figure it out. Uh, it, uh, we'll see where we're at. Uh, but uh, my guess is, yeah, we're not even through the intro yet. But we're having a lot of fun in Halloween month. But my my uh, movie oh, oh, oh. is um, bad sound, bad sound, bad sound, bad sound, bad sound. My movie bad is on Shutter. Bad sound, bad sound, bad sound, bad sound. And it's one of those, you know, like how I I I will. I'm not gonna fucking. Remotely, not gonna you know, I'm gonna no, compete with this. No, not gonna, <laughs> no, no. no, I'm just gonna pretend you, I'm like a little kid who's misbehaving. I'm just like, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> You're just spooky scared. <laughs> spooky. Well, the Kripke first lost so his you, edge. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> lost his edge. I could say you're spooky scared. <laughs> he, yeah, he's, wait, really? He lost Those his are, edge. You're just using a, a like another cinnamon, synonym. Cinnamon. <laughs> yes, cinnamon. I actually discovered the other day a second cinnamon. You know how you use one to make French toast? Yep. I made another that makes you French roast. I'm a barista now. <laughs> oh, French roast. I wasn't even thinking of like coffee. I don't do a lot of scaredy anymore. I doesn't mainly pay, uh, doesn't pay the make bills. those little leaves in lattes and well, oh, so they pass on. They don't even make the latte. They you just pass it on to you. And you're the me artist. Wear a very skimpy uniform. I work in Seattle at a place called Bear Latte. <laughs> Not even like uh, like. What, it like, means they made a pun that didn't work, and now I wear pasties. I work at. School. They Scarbucks. Don't. Scarbucks? You couldn't have used that? I probably could have had I worked there, but I work at this joint. Bear They made me wear pasties, and you get fired when they fall off. But you know what happens? My nipples fall off, and the pasty goes down with them. It's yeah, not classic. really a joke. There's no pun. No, you I'm have, you just have failed missing all nipples, and I keep getting fined in my paychecks. They're like five dollars a pasty. I'm like, oh, that's a lot. That's too much money for a pasty. Lose it. They're like, it's stuck to the bottom of your foot. We don't want it back. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm out of puns. You're out of espresso ground grounds. I need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like this board that just says Crypt Keeper time without a pun and the, the numbers just ticking up i'm just waiting for one and you're just like no this is just my story of my life this is my biography <laughs> I, I love that he's on a roll and he has not done one pun the no, entire no, episode he had so the many like i said he could have said episode. he could have said starbucks would have worked no, instead no, he's like no nothing. man latte is what i had to show skin he got into like coffin coffee something like yes. that like so many opportunities. We we are fine with our puns. His pun game is gone, man. So speaking of games, is this just the new world we live in? Like we have Trump for president and punless creep punless keeper? creep keeper and uh, uh, a lost at home podcast without any stories. <laughs> Wait, how far in are we? We're oh, at, we're fine. We're, we're, about, we're about halfway through. We're about halfway through. We've not got through our open segment yet because I wanted to say uh, tigers are not afraid on Shutter. I know that uh, I've, I've mentioned a lot of times. Why? That, uh, I've mentioned a lot of times. No, why? That, I, they don't explain that. Tigers are not afraid on Shutter. Why? Uh, why do I pick that movie, or why are tigers not afraid? No, why are tigers not afraid? They explain that in the movie. Go it's, ahead. It's it's poor. It's it's a, it's one of Guillermo del Toro's favorite movies, and he actually uh, and it's and you can see why. It's magical realism. It's like is a little dark, ti- dark it, fairy tale style is thing. Is it tiger moms who are just defiant against subscribing? No, this is actually a very difficult movie to watch. I would say that uh, it's it's actually more of a straight up drama with some uh, 
you know, creepy elements, but it's not unlike Pan's Labyrinth, which is similar, where, you know, you're just, you're surrounding a drama with some uh, horror elements inside of it, dark fairy tale style. I would highly recommend it. It is exclusive to Shudder. Uh, yeah. I, I, was yeah, waiting I, about, I was waiting about two years for it to finally come on. It's a Mexican film, and uh, actually, uh, De Guillermo del Toro has already signed on to uh, co-produce with the uh, woman who made this movie for her next flick, which is supposed to be like a werewolf western movie, which sounds pretty cool, but also, uh, uh, I okay, werewolf Speaking western sounds werewolves. pretty cool, uh, but I, I think there's probably some other werewolf movies out there that could be made. Yeah, it was a brainstorming news segment for the show, and I decided uh, on a break at work to come up with a few ideas of a uh, possible um, TV show slash movie ideas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I go through these, I will explain whether they are a TV show or movie, and also give you a genre. Yep. And, uh, Jer, feel free to pipe in at any point if you feel I, like I, 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 I will let you know if I have any questions. I will act, I will act as if I'm like a, a studio and you're pitching me. And, okay. And, and so I will, I will maybe have some questions about like, oh, oh hey, some follow-up. That actually okay? works really well. Okay. okay. So my first idea, and this is the title, Bleeding Hearts. This mm-hmm. is going to be a uh, half-hour sitcom. Yep. Uh, this is three sisters who, uh, well, their last name is Hart. Yep, uh, of course. All menstruate and have psyched up on the same day of the month. That day is the same day as the full moon. Okay. Also, in this world, there are werewolves, and they work for a kennel rescue. So the whole idea of this is a sitcom where they all have their period the same day every episode. The full moon comes up. Werewolves appear. But they also are bleeding hearts. So, so every so animals. every episode is like one cycle apart. So we're like essentially like a menstruation show and whatnot. Yeah, I, I actually and I do. I remember reading in a thing. So if you tell uh, if if you try to like talk to women about this who have uh, uh, reportedly synced up their cycles, uh, I've read a lot on, online about how that um, uh, the the syncing of cycles is actually a myth. But I know so many people who are like, no, you, we've lived in a house and over time our cycles synced up. So I'm not going to say one way or the other because guess what I don't do? Menstruate. Yeah. All right. Number two. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I wanted to ask. So is, does, the, uh, does the menstruation have anything to do? Like, it's, do, do, do they become werewolves or do they just attract werewolves? They attract. Okay. So because I actually wanted to mention uh, this is, goes as another a horror movie suggestion. Uh, Ginger snaps the entire trilogy, but especially the first one. Uh, anywhere you can find those. I think they're always all over the place. Awesome fucking movies. I've mentioned it before on the show. Uh, I would. I. I. I felt stupid for not watching the first Ginger Snaps movie because I assumed it was going to be some stupid Twilighty type thing or whatever. Uh, it turns out it was actually early two thousands, if not like two thousand proper or whatever. Uh, and it, it. I was like, oh, it's some teeny bopper like you know show. It turns out it's fucking pretty dope. So Ginger Snaps, my movie suggestion outside of my movie suggestion works. Uh, number two. Uh, this is going to be an hour long drama. Okay. On TV. Okay. So it's t- we're still in TV mode here. So. When wolf, when as in not, when not when where, not when where. does that can happen instead of where? So okay. when wolf. I love the the play on words already. It's too bad the fucking crypt keeper can't take your notes on puns. Yeah, but. Uh, it's a uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Yep, All right. <laughs> a uh, a time traveler gets bitten by a werewolf that also damages the time machine. Now it bounces through time, appearing at night on only full moons. Uh, he changes history when he rampages out of the machine and murders historical figures. So, and he, so he waits. Spe- and then has to spend the entire next day before his time machine takes off again, fixing the time he did. So he wakes up picking his teeth with Ben Franklin's kite and yeah. is like, oh, no, what did I do? Here's the question I have and that a lot of uh, viewers are going to have because, first of all, we're green lighting this. It's a fucking dope <laughs> just on the title alone. Uh, but Time Traveling Werewolf? How I don't think it's been done yet. Time um, Drug Werewolf has not been done. It has been. If it has, I'm going to look to see if it's been done because if it's been done, I want to watch that. Basically, movie Basically, I'm just creating new content. So right now, yes. without news stories. But I, I would like to ask uh, if does so. This person clearly does not have a problem being a werewolf. They probably like it. Well, they because can't, they other, can't they can't not deal with it. It's you could, happening but to them. but here's the paradox. It's like, it's, here's no, but here's like the paradox. Saying, like, do you like having AIDS or <laughs> no, 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 no? But if you're a time traveler, you'd go back in time and not get AIDS. So what I'm saying is, how do we explain the paradox? It could be paradoxical where uh, they you can't travel back to the, you can't any travel moment back, you've already been to. But you so you can't okay. meaning meaning the moment perfect, you got bit. perfect. So that's that's exact. Okay, that's all I need to know. As long as you're ready to explain that paradox, we're green lighting it. It's, it's a go on Netflix. All right, third one. Drake side of the moon. Is this have anything to do with the the musician actor Drake? Actor musician Drake. Is actor in quote? Uh, is he's, is he been on? He's been in movies. He, he was in a uh, uh, Degrassi. Oh, what? oh, he was okay. He was the kid in the wheelchair. I never saw Degrassi. He was the kid in the wheelchair. 
Wheels Ontario, remember that? Yeah, yeah that was Drake. <laughs> Literally, Wheels Ontario was Wilson playing Ontario. Drake. Yeah, it was Canadian uh, fucking. Yeah, okay, it was okay. playing Drake. I, 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 that's funny because that was just funny for me, and I didn't even realize that like that Wheels Ontario was like a Degrassi fucking uh, like. Yeah, it's a parody, parody it's spoof. A play. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, so Drake side of the moon. So actor musician Drake becomes an astronaut, and the day before he gets launched to a moon landing, gets bitten by a random wolf. Upon landing on the moon, his lander gets destroyed, and he is on the cusp of the dark side and light side of the moon and turns into a werewolf. He learns very quickly that his suit is leaking oxygen, and the only way to live is to go to the dark side of the moon, where lack of oxygen doesn't matter because, because he's only a werewolf? silver bullets kill werewolves. Yeah. Not lack of oxygen on the moon. No one has ever disputed me on this claim. And guess what? Now you are going to enter that into the lore of werewolves and it's going to be unquestionable yeah. after this. Now, uh, a rescue trip uh, helmed by Ed Harris uh, flies to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I like you've already cast it for us. That's great. And uh, Getting when, some of these people for this ridiculous concept show might be a little tough, yeah, but go but, ahead. But they can't land on the dark side of the moon, so they land on the light side. He has five minutes of oxygen left in his suit that he can only use when he turns human, thus when he's human he needs oxygen. So he has to basically do the five minute run from the dark side of the moon to the light side as a human, expending that oxygen. And when he gets on the lander and he has oxygen and everything is fine and they're ready to bring him back home, he learns they have to do a slingshot around the moon to get back to Earth, bringing him back around the dark side so, while so he's, on the lander. So, on, on the so do, do, lander. do the people who uh, rescue him even know that he's no. a werewolf? So, so he can't be like, listen, you got to like restrain me because no. we're going to go around there. So there's a good chance that when that happens, he turns he's going to turn a werewolf. werewolf, kill the person. And, there's like, a better than good chance. There's yeah. a 100% chance. Or he lets his secret out and is like, you got to tie me down when we go around that side because otherwise... And here's... The, okay. Uh, hey, we're, we're chopping I, this. Ed yeah. Harris, are you listening? Uh, I would say... Do you want to give a show notes? I would say Drake is probably the biggest one because like literally his name's in it but i did find out there's an actor by the name of drake bell um who was in uh drake and josh from 2004 to 2007 was that a disney show it looks like it was some shitty show on nickelodeon uh or something like that uh he was in superhero movie as rick Riker. so how about this okay if we can't get the drake we need to clearly name it that do we get drake bell i think he's more of a i think at that point any drake will do I think there's two. <laughs> it's Drake Bell and Drake. Uh, okay. Oh, All he right. was he was Jesse Remo and Je- Jerry Maguire. This guy's a pretty legit actor. He's got 105 credits to his name. All right. I still think we should get Crippled Jake. A no. lot of a lot of his things I, I are mean, named we should, after him. We should him. get Fake Crippled Jake. <laughs> Drake. Not yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fake Fake Crippled Jake has a guy at the liquor store. I, yeah, I yeah. run into once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you're just looking for money for a, a fucking bottle. You you can use your legs, no. buddy. He's crippled until you throw an empty in front of him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, I'm to fuck it to hell, dude. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> and then so you realize, like, oh, no, no, he's, yeah, no, he's really crippled. It's just him crawling no, across he, the pavement. Like, you're like, oh, I feel bad now. But he now. also barks like a dog. I feel really bad. <laughs> empty bottle. Fetch, empty bottle. Fetch, you piece of shit. What, bro? I'm a doctor. <laughs> okay. All right, uh... Last time there, yeah. There's one more. Great. All right. Furry camp. Uh, a bunch of teens. Sounds like a slasher. Who are furries. Is it you're, a movie? You're not wrong. This is a movie. This is an hour and a half long movie. Okay. You're not wrong. Uh, a bunch of teens who are furries go to a furry themed camp. One of them is bit by a werewolf and becomes one. People think it's just an intense costume he's wearing when he turns, which lulls them into a false sense of security, which ends up with them being dead. I like it. It's a good slasher little concept. I like the setup. I need to write movies. How about this? I, I, this, I can was, green, this, was, this was five minutes if I can and green, all four are gold. This was a minute and 25 how about seconds. This? How, how about this? Every time we do this. I don't know fractions. Minutes are divided by 25 <laughs> in quarters. <laughs> I am okay. A minute and 15 seconds of ideas per. I am. I'm, how about this? Every, every time we do this segment, um, I actually kind of like, originally I was thinking maybe I'd pitch some. How about this? Going forward, you will come up with four every time, and I can only green light two out of the four. As a pro- as a producer, I've got Wenwolf and Drake side of the moon. If we can get Drake, do you know what would make this show a lot easier? We don't do the news stories; we just pitch each other movie ideas. Yeah, completely changes the whole premise. And we've of been this doing show. One for two hundred seventy nine episodes. Yeah. So two eighty, we're just gonna be like new show. Who dis? We've done it four times now. 
But our show, we've always kept like with the odd news, news. Story part. So we would still have to roll that in, but we would we would come up with odd stories ahead of time and use that to fuel the content, but it would all be movie pitches to each other. Also, honestly, it sounds like too much work. I like the concept though. I do. We could we could actually create a segment of that though. I actually think a, a segment of doing that. I like this segment enough to where Oh, you're I would... fine. You're you're trying to placate me and I'm not even paying attention. I was just using <laughs> chapstick like <laughs> Yeah, yeah was... I, I was making obs- obscure obscene eye contact with my chapstick and yeah. you were just like but but, but, but you know, I mean but, if, you, if you want I mean cuz we can we can we can change the whole fucking show that's fine why not we've only been doing it for 280 episodes uh no actually I would like to I I think going beyond this uh this is a really good segment to actually continue cuz at some point I would like to come up with some ideas of my own but I think during Hall- Halloween month it's on you and every time you do four pitches I can pick two out of the four all right, I can so only pick Drake, two. Side of the Moon, and Wenwolf. Uh, Wenwolf, yeah. Wenwolf, absolutely, because it doesn't matter who plays in that. That will sell itself. Drake, Side of the Moon, as long as we can get at least Drake Bell, if not the Drake. Ed Harris would be great, but I don't expect that. Drake Bell, are you listening? We didn't know who you were. We will forget who you are after we record this. I might watch some Drake and Josh episodes. Um, okay, good. Uh, Just the Halloween episodes, though. If they have them, yeah. I have no idea what that show Most is. shows have them. Most they, shows yeah. premiere in October, meaning there's a Halloween episode. Yeah, yeah, there's a Halloween episode. September, October, the fall schedule, whatnot, things like that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's movie pitches. Maybe we'll even create a segment opener for it one of these days. I doubt it. Probably not. Don't don't hold your breath, folks. So, Jerry, you created a segment called Sports Blast. Sports Blast! So, possibly... That's, there's the theme song right the, there. The whole theme. That's what you do for sports. You just have some dude screaming like, Just off the own! <laughs> oh, it's just, there's so many sports that can be made fun of for Halloween month. Oh, yeah? All right, football. Uh, uh, so many yards. So few feet. <laughs> All right, well, fail on that one. I was really hoping to lob uh, you a uh, soccer. Uh, you can't use your hands because it's a Football sport. Look at it. You Europe. Europe for some shenanigans. And, and American football. <laughs> American football is all hands. It's only uh, hands. Well, and arms. Do we have more sports? Uh, what, what else can we throw at him? Uh, tennis? Tennis, yeah. Tennis. Uh, that play was beyond the line. You know what else is on the line? No. What's that? Your career because you can't hit a ball. Wait, that's not even a pun. I, I I'm kind of hating literal Crypt Keeper. <laughs> literal Crypt Keeper just feels very demeaning. Like, like where there's just too. no puns whatsoever. It's like, yes, it would be a shame if they missed the ball because then they wouldn't win. <laughs> yeah, like he's literally Yeah, no, that's like, it. That's it. Yeah, that's... Literal Crypt Keeper is kind of a downer. <laughs> like, we just, like, the only reason you're cool is because you're puns. Yeah. And you're, now you're just like telling the truth. You're telling it how it is. Yeah, very you're, how yeah, it is. You're just on the view now. Like, right, Jesus well. Christ. Yes, more like the you. I that's actually a hard one. He's he's in the corner shaking his head at you, which All right. I, which we are doing at him, so it only makes sense. Sports blast. Uh, turns sports out sports blast. Sports blast. Sports 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 all right, so the reason we're doing Sports Blast, people are like, wait a minute, you guys never talk about sports on this show. Uh, first of all... We- that's oh, why yeah. that's the first time you're hearing yep. our new intro song. <laughs> wait, let's hear it again. Yeah. Sports Blast! Oh, suck that fucking oh, dick! Suck that dick! Yeah, 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 oh, yeah take the balls! Take the balls, balls, the balls too, Danny! Oh, balls. take the big old balls too, I Danny! Balls oh, balls too, balls too, oh, yeah, you got the balls real good, oh, couple! Oh, I'm gonna make that put. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Sports Blast! And uh, uh, that one had a little bit of a different st- uh, style to it than the first one, but I like that, the dynamic uh, theme songs, <laughs> intros. The reason we're doing this is because, first of all, this is a silly story, but also uh, the month of October for sports fans is considered the best month out there because uh, the NBA starts up uh, the, uh, toward the end of the month, I believe, their regular season. Hockey uh, has recently started. You've got the um, uh, uh, NFL has already been going and everybody cares about football. And then baseball is in its playoff season. So you get all the sports, all the major sports that people are fucking psyched about. Uh, that being said, we're not going to cover any of the proper sports really uh, as far as the sports go. But we are going to note that uh, recently you were able to bet 
uh, on whether or not a dildo is going to be thrown on the field at uh, on, during the uh, Bills Patriots game, which actually just happened September 29th. Uh, so it has already it has already happened. Did um, you look for an update to see if a dildo was thrown on? TV I looked at the field? update, and it, it's really hard to find out whether or not they because they, they, it's not like on the web. Because this is one website, one sports betting website that allows you to place this bet, uh, and they had it was seriously I think either 110 or 140 to one odds um, that, that last I checked. Oh, I but saw the, yeah. those odds. They yeah. are it was posted. There, there, were, there were two sets of odds. I didn't see. Which one was more? One and one forty. Okay, so okay, one forty one odds. So that's a big payoff. Um, that's a pretty big payoff. And the reason that the, the yeah, odds are ten bucks oh, can become fourteen hundred. So the the way that it's <laughs> the, so good. Um, <laughs> One dollar become one hundred and forty dollars. So the the way that it's uh, hey look at look at that the way that <laughs> oh you want your money to double? I can give you double trouble with your money. You want to get a big payout this Halloween? It sounds like you're running like a invest in an IRA. Oh oh, you're just giving good financial advice. <laughs> Protect your investment. <laughs> Get a legal advisor who's not a family member. <laughs> they sometimes try fleecing you like a sheep in a field who doesn't know how to invest. That's once again not a pun. There was a fleece thing there. You literally the fleece. fleece. You sheep. had a fleece thing. You fleece had an sheep. opening. Like he had fleece and sheep. It was good, and he just missed it. He whiffed. Uh, so the okay. So what I found here is there was a tweet by someone that was attending the game that said there was a dildo thrown on the field, um, but there wasn't any that was captured on camera. And I looked to see if the uh, betting website like posted whether or not they paid it out. I didn't see any what, update what, whatsoever. They just like it's vanished. So. Uh, I, from what I understand, it, if if it's going to be hard to prove, obviously the betting website is going to take as much as they so they can not pay it out. My guess is they'll probably rule that um, uh, that yes, if possible, because yes will pay out uh, pretty much nothing. Whereas because this the the one forty to one odds was yes, it's going to be uh, thrown. The reason is because at every Bills Patriots game since twenty sixteen, from what I understand, there has been a dildo thrown yeah. on the field. So once and every the fans year, so three, throw them times, also. Yeah. By the way, if you think about doing this and you think it's funny, uh, they get lifetime bans. Uh, from, yes, from yes. the stadium. Yep, so. if they if they catch you, which uh, there are cameras everywhere, they might not be caught. Uh, all, they they they've been trying to like keep the the clips of them being thrown on the field uh, from being aired because it, it's sort of like copycat crime style. The reason they don't show streakers for baseball and stuff or soccer or anything is because they don't want people to copy and be like, oh, I can become famous. But yeah. they, they it has happened. Lifetime ban, more like a. 30 year ban since people don't live that long. I mean, wait, do you could, think people he, only live 35 years? What if it's like a six year old throwing a dildo? He, First of all, got to talk to the parents he, about it. He, he literally could have just said death time ban. Yeah. Lifetime death time. That's, that's close enough to a pun. Well, like, lifetime ban is. I mean, proper. You don't have to put word, a number on the it. The worst Crypt Keeper Because pun if you put a 30 year ban on it's not lifetime. It's a death time ban. Worst case scenario pun. Yep, That's but, the low but, li- but lifetime means that you you are banned for the entirety of your life. Yeah, not until your death. But it's. I it's, mean, it's, until it's, your death. But I mean, what to say? Death time. Wheelhouse, and he's still. God, he is fucking damn it. You know what? Keeper. That's 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 enough uh, of of on that because I feel like he's gonna keep whiffing. I know he's gonna keep popping up here. I can't like, but but let's get more to his wheelhouse with some horror shit and go into spider web droppings. <laughs> All right, the first story um, I actually brought to the table. Um, I think we probably only have uh, time for a couple more stories or a couple stories total. We don't want to go too long. Originally, we were thinking, oh, don't worry, we might go a little bit long. But honestly, we have so many stories. I think, uh, Scott, I think it's probably better just to like tuck some of these into next week because otherwise it's going to be a two-hour long episode. And Absolutely. I don't think we need to, to do that to people. So we're going to start out with a sacrificial cult that was busted. Ah, the best, fu- the best kind of cult. It's the, it's the best cult. Actually, I'm not kidding. Okay, first of all, there's no good cults, but the coolest ones are definitely sacrificial ones. And I'm sorry to all the loved ones you've lost from sacrificial cults, everybody. But, uh, but you know, remember we co- we covered the uh, the blood cult. That was our favorite. That's still my favorite cult we've ever covered on the show. Mine too. Mine too. Now this one 
is actually uh, a recent story. Of, now the, the the cult itself has been around for a while, but uh, in Taipei, uh, uh, this came. This is a September twenty fifth story. The police busted uh, a hardline cult led by a sixty one year old woman for alleged use of violence against its members. Uh, now the the reason they actually uh, uncovered this cult is they were investigating the death of a twenty year old Taiwanese woman in China. Um, and what ended up happening is they found the woman was allegedly beaten to death, and that's where the sacrificial part comes out. And then when they started talking to other cult members, uh, they realized that pretty much every single person in this about 100-person cult has, has been, been beaten. beaten. Yes, including yeah. the children. There's, like, ch- yeah. like children, like, uh, that everybody, like, the, so uh, it's, it's uh, you know, and that's not uncommon for crazy cults anyway. They The way they keep people in line sometimes is by, you know, Jesus loves you. And uh, and then when you're in a cult, you're and you're so into God and whatnot, you're, uh, and whatnot, of course, that's the religion. Uh, you, you just, you really, you, you want to believe that, you know, the best comes in the afterlife. So it's okay to get beaten because that's just God's way of making you work for it. <laughs> I like the way you put yeah. that. It actually make, uh, it gives credence to cults. So number <laughs> yeah. one, thank you, know, you for good. supporting yeah. cults. <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to support as many cults. No, anybody out there in a cult, you're probably not listening to this podcast, but uh, you probably you're don't know. Because beating your way to Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It's like stairway yeah. to heaven, but it's like uh, <laughs> being whipped with a belt to uh, the oblivion? Hold on. I'm pretty sure the uh, the name of the show is Beat Me to Jesus. Because <laughs> I, I love that as being like, we've watched, I actually am two, uh, uh, at least one or two episodes behind on Righteous Gemstones because I'm having a uh, fight with Comcast, so I'm going to, uh, I, I don't have HBO right now. But the, um, uh, I, I think about like a very like super uh, evangelical family or something just singing that song like, Beat Me to Jesus, oh, beat me to God. Something like that. <laughs> If you want to get beaten to Jesus, all you need to do is be bad. Yeah, no, that's... Hey, is that it? Literal Crip Keeper strikes again, folks. Literal, literal Crip Keeper. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, I don't know, there's so many good puns you could do with beat, I'm not even going to bring it, like, I'm not beat even going to start talking knee, about it. Beat your knee, beat your... Feet How about like Jesus? beats like the uh, uh you, we could we could make we could uh, bat we could backpedal and and make and start making references about vegetables nah, and then be like okay. you better let's, eat let's, your beets let's let uh let's or let, beat let, your let, eats let's let literal crib keeper be literal creep keeper yeah well and, uh, I don't think he wants to be that it's just he's trying so hard and I'm good with the puns it's Halloween season and guess what you little pumpkin should get. You should get information from a podcast. I believe what you meant was punkins. See, you fucking missed that one. I I, I heard it. I, I, as it right? rolled through, I was like, punkins? Punkins? Hey, come on, come on, Crip Keeper. You got this. Uh, pumpkins? Because little... maybe you need to pumpkin. No, not like pump. No, this wow, like no, pump no, no that, now you're pulling a literal Crip Keeper. Yeah. Well, I, I just, I, he, I learned from, I, I learned it from watching you. Well, no, I think his lack of punniness is making us less punny as podcast hosts. Honestly, it's kind of like, uh, it's like a disease. Like we caught it from him well, or, I, orally. I was A-U-R. thinking like my, 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 uh, intellectual dick is shriveling and going back up inside of me. Okay, okay. Yeah, not like my dick is intellectual. I mean, like, I, if I if I had an intellectual boner at some point where I was fucking nailing off puns, he's like the cold or the old, like, or <laughs> your grandma fucking it, that shrivels my dick. It's Halloween month, and if you're worried about your boner, maybe you should be more worried about things you say. No, you, you fucking literally... Fucking Christ. Literally, you literally The word bone you, is in you, there. The word bone was Skeleton, right Skeleton, you're there. mostly bones. You can't, God. Okay. I almost think he's working harder to not make the puns than he would be to just let them fall in his proverbial lap. I the thing is, like, I actually, I, I was gonna ask Cryptkeeper if he had any like uh, uh, ideas for new content on this, but I don't like. He's just gonna repeat the story. Maybe like somebody should be in a cult and then they die. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you want to be in a cult? I could get you in a cult. You want to be in my cult? All you have to do is nothing. Wait, no. That's the least cult, culty ev- cult ever. Every cult has demands. Yeah. They demand things on their worshipers. They they make you strip naked or have sex with their kids. or Yeah. But mostly those two things. Yeah. like the, the, Actually, I will say that uh, I, from what I understand, the thing about these uh, the, the, the female-led, uh, and I don't want to say once like give any credence to any cult, but it seems like the female-led cults, 
uh, tend to have less kid fucking in them. Not always, not that because we covered one or no, I don't even know if we ever ended up, ended up covering it. But almost no, all of the show it's recently were. It was gore. the same thing. It's but, more like I'm gonna. Cut oh, and, you and there's plenty. And there's plenty of fucking. Spill your guts on the floor. And there's still plenty but of sex. No way, there's still plenty fuck of your five year old yeah. son. Yeah, because it's like, what am I gonna or do? Or daughter, or daughter. Yeah. It's 2019. Let's yeah, be fair. They're, they're, a cult leader can fuck either sex. They always it's did. 2019. No, they always did anyway. Like, there's no cult leader that was just like, like, well, I'm, I'm picky when it comes to my pedophilia. Like, ew, no grannies. Oh, I mean, they probably all are picky when they come to their pedophilia. Well, because they, they, they it's always, like that yeah. one kid who doesn't get molested during and they, like and they Catholic actually mass. feel bad. They find out that all their friends got molested, and they're yeah. like, "Well, what's wrong with me? I was a fat kid, in no me. fatties. I was a fat kid in Catholic mass, and everyone yeah. around me got uh, got molested, and I was left alone. Yeah, Bobby, you just watched the door. Oh yeah, doorman Bobby, that's what I call you. This is how a priest talks. <laughs> I mean, it's... I went to the coolest church. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, come on. Go over there and watch the door while I suck on this little penis. This tiny little kid penis. It's what I'm going to do here. Yeah. Hold the camera, Bobby. I'm going to call you cameraman Bobby now. I'm almost Rick and Morty now. I like that you went to a Robert De Niro <laughs> Episcopal... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think I'm just channeling a little Ro- Donnie Robbie De Niro. I'm, by I'm way. channeling Niro. A, a little Donnie does movies. I think I, we haven't had him on since he first came on. So he, hey, he's been fighting the gout. He's been fighting the gout like a trooper. Well, I I think uh, I think that little molesting thing uh, is probably good enough for new content. Seeing as we got to kind of like just push ahead here. If Find that's out. Good Let's go on to the next story. Yeah, uh, we got uh, this this story you brought to the table about an alien worm, which may or may not be a legit alien, but it certainly seems alien compared to what we're used to when it comes to animals. Well, they discovered a brand new species of what they're calling alien worm, but yeah, it's it, a nematode, right? It's or, a nematode. Or a hematode. It's or something a, like nematode. a nematode. Yeah. Uh, it has three sexes as male, female, and hermaphroditic. Yep, yep, that's right. And that's pretty fun, dude. Well, I mean, it's a very 2019 way to, to to be too. That's I mean, rid of that sex, not gender, but it's like it's like the sexes are now catching that, up to gender. It's basically a one worm porn. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, right. I can fuck my ass and suck my dick at the same time. Holy shit, Marilyn Manson, eat your heart out. Now, uh, this uh, this worm lives in a lake that is so inhospitable that there are only three species, two excluding this uh, trifecta yeah, two, of two genital others, organs yeah. uh, worm, and uh, it is considered one of the saltiest lakes on Earth. Not only that, it, it, is, uh, it has lethal uh, doses of arsenic in the lake that are uh, lethal to human beings. And here's the thing, I've been playing a shitload of No Man's Sky, I've seen these lakes... I've swam in these lakes, but I need a special suit and No Man's Sky to do it. But there's like a bunch of shit floating around in there. But, that, but that's a video game, folks. In case you didn't know that. I, uh, I, I didn't know where that was ending. I, uh, <laughs> I, I literally sat back and was like, all right. Yeah. That's like, like Jared when I do my video game talks. <laughs> <laughs> you literally sit back yeah. like, I'm just like, when, when, yep. when, all right, when, cool. Apex, when, Apex, that's cool. All when, right. Yep, when yeah. does this end? Yeah, sweet. Okay, a bunch of character names. I don't know, but a bunch of our listeners probably fucking do, and that's all there is to it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to probably, it's going to end with me uh, dead in front of my TV uh, because I just like forgot to eat playing too much No Man's Sky. Here's the thing. There's no point to the game. I just, I'm just like mining to get shit to build things to get more units to build more shit there, so I can build Jared, more mines. Jared, to be fair, there's no point to any video game. You do what? things to get things that don't exist. Well, I got a job. All games are you do things to get things that don't exist. I, I pretty much like got my whole, through my whole life assuming I could just run through life like Mega Man. And it worked. Now I have a job. Yeah, you got that big hand, too, that shoots blobs of shit. Yeah, literally, um, that that one shit guy that they had to cut out of the Mega Man video game, where it's just like, <laughs> he's like, oh, shit, man. Uh, I love the fact that they were all, like, named, like, what they were. Woodman. Uh, par- oh, I wonder how to be him. Maybe with the Saw yeah. Man's shit. Pa- or Metal man, man, Saw Man, Mechanical Man, which Mechanical Man was redundant. If any shit other man, man had a mechanical part, he's also Mechanical Man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's like, and most of them did. Although the Woodman one, whatever no, it was. No, all of them did. They're all fucking robots. <laughs> fucking robots. Oh. They shot shit at you. And it was oh, yeah, based on were, their yeah. name, but they shot at you. Sawblade, Parrot, Worm, <laughs> fucking Dildo, uh, Rock. It didn't matter. Rock, rock Robot Man, yeah, he's an excavator. No, it's Rock Man, which is funny. Definitely not a man either. So it should have just been Rock Robot. 
He didn't have the Wood three robot. genders that these nematodes did. No, they don't. And, uh, and, 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 a, and, they, and they, I don't think any of them could have lived in a hostile, like, a hostile California lake. This is California. Yeah, this is California's mono lake, which has a great name to begin with. That's because cool. You also, know, you know what lake you don't swim in as teens? Mono lake. So yeah. how'd you get mono? Well, I made out with this dude I never met before. Yeah. Also, we were in mono, mono lake, lake. Yeah. And he might have had mono. Guess I have Super mono. Super mono. Double mono. Also, I'm dying because it's arsenic. Boom. See you later. Mono By lake the way, the, the pictures of this lake are astounding. They look like something from No Man's Sky. Actually, let me tell you. You're actually, not wrong. They do. Because you've seen, you've two, seen the two, pictures. Two reasons. They've got the little The water is style. crystal like, yeah. clear. Like crystal. Yeah. And you don't see that inland. Usually that's more of a... Uh, Definitely. This is a welcoming that's a, lake. That's more of a tropicals type water condition. This is you, a killer lake. That. For sure. Yeah. And then it has like these weird curved like beaches. Yes. With these like stones jutting out. They jutting look out like violently. They, they look like spires. Yes. No, no man spire. And these tiny little worms I are there, got sucking m- their own dick. I got mono their own asses. from a parasite at no man spire. <laughs> ah, you mean yes. mono lake in California? No man spire. Don't tell me how I can't fuck anymore and why I bleed out my eyes. I'm an adult. <laughs> That's right. I wanted to hang out with the dick sucking worms. <laughs> The, the alien was anyway. What are you the mean that- leeches? <laughs> fuck you! You don't know shit about You're me. You're disgusting. You'd fuck a leech. <laughs> you want to know about sucking? Yes. Well, go to Crystal Lake. It definitely is four stars on TripAdvisor. It is actually. Four Wait, stars does that now. does that mean it? Sucks. Let me actually Wait, go to. Wait, does that does that mean it sucks or like it's sucky? I, I mean, it I don't know. means there's things in there that will take your blood or <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> take a little bit of yourself for them. Well, I, well, I, you, you, wow, that's actually, that's actually a very fleshed out, nice response. Uh, it's, it's vague. It's in the Crypt Keeper's wheelhouse, but, um, still no puns, no puns at all. There's a uh, Giorgio Chicago pizza. Is in Crystal Lake. I'm talking. I'm looking at Crystal Lake, Illinois, not Crystal Lake, Iowa, or Crystal Lake, which actually the, 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 where the Friday it? the Thirteenth. Where was that Friday the Thirteenth? Crystal Lake. What was state? it like? It, wasn't it like in New England or something? Was it should should, should we both Google? Because we can keep talking while we Google. Uh, we do it all the time. Most of our show is us Googling uh, like anything except for the show. Um, Here, I'll talk it out. Yeah. Crystal. Where was Crystal Lake? Crystal. Friday the Thirteenth, Jersey. Oh, oh my god, yeah, it was. It totally was. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if that's wait, where it wait, was. Hold does on. Jersey have woodsy it summer It is located camps? in Crystal Lake, Cunningham County, New Jersey. Previously Falls, Green County, where she's scared. Has anyone ever died there? It is a fictional summer camp. It, so, it doesn't exist. So, no one could have died there. It was, it was probably, like, filmed at a real summer camp that people Whoa. most likely died in. Crystal Lake camp in New Jersey can be a real summer camp. Yeah. Just because someone didn't die there does oh, validate okay. my comment, but does not validate yours. Okay. Camp, well, hold on a second. It was actually filmed at a real-life camp in New Jersey, Camp Nobi Bosco, which is still an active Boy Scout camp. Really? Like, you can go there? I guess so, if you're a Boy Scout or a pedophile. <laughs> or a horror enthusiast <laughs> I mean, who is yeah. confused with a pedophile and just yeah. got arrested. Yeah. I just came here to take pictures. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, it's just ah. you. It's just like you showing up at a kids' camp with a hockey mask on. I don't think it's gonna end very well. No, I was just here because it, I'm it, in a machete and a sharpie, and you just want people to sign it. Yeah, yeah sign my sharpie, little but boy. No one, no one there was part of the filming. They're yeah. they're twelve. Exactly. They, they barely know they what Friday know 13th that, is. That like the yeah. thing is even a thing. They're just like grandparents liked it. They're like, okay, Bobby, you fat Bobby, watch the door. Oh, not again. Because now, five bow. Remember, we're making molestation yeah. jokes. Oh, I thought you were gonna send me to fat camp, being called Fat Bobby. Then I showed up to regular camp, and they made fun of me because I was fat. I didn't really think I was looking forward to fat camp because I thought all the kids would be like me, you know, yeah. fat. Well, but, but then I went to normal camp, and then they called me fat. So I think the the sadness of being sent to fat camp got kind of overshadowed by being fat at normal camp. Yeah, because I might be skinny Bobby at fat camp. <laughs> I'm only slightly obese. <laughs> God damn it, at normal camp, I'm Fat Bobby. <laughs> fat shaman. That's what we can do. Uh, uh, I, I, I want a I, I comedy. You remember, oh my God, remember the golden age of comedies? Uh, I'm not talking now, but like way back in the 80s where they made fun of movies and it was funny. 
Now they make like uh, uh, like Spartans go or whatever and pick on like you know three hundred. They they make well, the, yeah, well really what make, it is they is they're making the, fun of movies that we don't we don't have a uh, a nostalgic attachment to so we don't like those. As but much. they're also not good. They're not they're not good. The first uh, couple of scary movies really good. Yeah, those first are great. couple. Yeah, and those are probably like the last of David, that school. David Cross in a wheelchair in part two. Yep. Fucking amazing. Uh, not not another team movie. One of the best in my opinion ever because yeah. that was like yeah. such a great lampooning of all of those. But it actually turned out to be a better romantic comedy or than any of those. Go further back, Spaceballs. Well, Spaceballs, of course. Yeah, if you're talking like Spaceballs and Airplane and. Uh, Naked Airplane, Gun. Naked Gun, the best. Airplane made fun of the funniest Hot Shots Part One and Part Two. Airplane made fun of the funniest airplane tragedy movie of all time. Chair, what's the title? Airplane. Yeah, I don't know what it was. No, either. I can't remember. I, I honestly don't think they actually lampooned anything on that, except for just they made it. Well, I thought it was like yeah, the yeah, the maybe that was just like the style of that. But like Naked Gun was clearly like a mishmash of all those like spy type movies, uh, a lot of James Bond type things, uh, a lot of cop procedurals, and then there was also. Hot Shots. There was also uh, one that's not Hot Shots noticed. does not hold up. I watched it. it doesn't? I watched it two years ago uh, with my wife. She had never seen it. I'm like, oh my god, you need to see. You need to see Hot Shots. We watch it. She did not even okay, fucking first of all, smile. I would not and, expect and, her. And, I would not expect her to nope, smile. Nope, nope. And also, I did not either. I but thought maybe it was, that, I thought it maybe, was garbage. Maybe that, okay, first of all, I, I would have to watch it. It because, does not hold because up. Because I would not show that to somebody who didn't have there a deep dance. love for Top Gun. Because the only way you're going to find it funny at all is the deep love for Top Gun. But what? But Hot Shots Part 2 I saw recently, and that was pretty damn funny. That's I a hate, Rambo thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know, man. <laughs> The naked guns hold up though. Although there are jokes in there, if you watch them with PC police, are not they're not going to fly. <laughs> Have you ever seen someone hung from the rafters? Oh, that doesn't hold up. That's wait, close. To- wait, wait a that minute. That is the closest he's gotten. Scott, Scott, I think that might actually have to end the show right it, now because I don't know. It's almost a pun. It's almost a it, pun. It, it's so close. Well, come on, buddy. You got this. The, the rafter didn't hold up? Yeah. It hung himself. No, no, I'm on board with you. I'm, I'm excited. I just got turgid. Are we going to call that a pun? We're going to call that a pun. We're going to call that a pun. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. All it took was a full hour of, of failed attempts, but the Crypt Keeper is back thanks to us, Lost at Home Podcast. Hey, we're going out on a song now. Don't call it a pun back. Whoa. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. We oh my back. God. He's, He's back. back. Ah! He's back! We miss you so much, Crypt Keeper. Oh my god, Crypt Keeper. Oh, oh my god. Well, I th- seriously, we're going to put you down after this if it wasn't for the... Oh my god, you saved yourself. Uh, we are going to go out on a song. We're going to go out on a creepy song, Scott. It's actually... How, how creepy? It's actually not very creepy, ow, ow, but... Ow, ow, ow. I am going to give a little... Uh, 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 okay, so I, I realize there's a couple of sound, horror-esque... Uh, bad sound, bad sound, bad sound. Oh, wow, I didn't skip a beat with that. Yeah, good for you. Um... Uh, this don't, is a, don't call it a callback. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I don't think. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> Halloween month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is oh, loopy for Halloween month. No, I'm gonna. I, I, I realize we're trying to like get like creepy esque type music, and there's a couple of Sonic Jalopy songs I've not played for folks, and one of this these uh, is one I've only sent to a few people, uh, but because I was going to make more of a video out of it, but the background of this is, I listened to this crazy evangelical preacher and he was fucking going bonkers so I sampled a bunch of his shit and created sort of a witch housey beat underneath it it's called Lazarus, as you'll hear why it's a pieces of a sermon. I am and, truly uh, intrigued, I have not yes. heard this myself, so and, I'm uh, super yeah. excited. So this is uh, this is some samples of that with a big old like thick, almost hip hoppy witch housey beat behind it, Lazarus <laughs> by Sonic Jalop. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Not. Mm-hmm. Th- mm-hmm. I would like to point out to people mm-hmm. this is not the song. Mm-hmm. Do not associate me with this. <laughs> bad sound, bad sound, bad sound. <laughs> Get lost? Get lost. Ah!